Last year we sat down as an organising group to try to identify what our vision was for the Rainbow Film Festival. The vision that we came up with was to um, put lesbian and gay, bisexual and trans issues at the heart of Shropshire's entertainment programme. Um, we've identified four aims for the Rainbow Film Festival. To educate, entertain, challenge and change. Well, I've been retired here for 18 years and I don't notice how much things have changed. Rainbow Film Festival is just something that's here on our doorstep. We don't have to travel to London or the bigger cities. That's a major plus because obviously a lot of places are further away. I think for the whole county it's just brilliant because you know it's getting more publicity, it's getting bigger and bigger and more nationally recognised. We've seen it in a couple of magazines as well. Uh, I'm from Talford in Shropshire and not too far away. So we don't get a lot going on in Shropshire so when something does happen it's nice to uh, come up and just have a look and see how it goes. I'm from Shifnal near Telford. Um, yeah, I'm here today just to have a look, see what's on. Um, it's nice to have some gay and lesbian activities, events going on in, in Shropshire. I'm from Shrewsbury. Uh, we've lived here for about uh, four years and this is the first time that we've come to the festival. We've come through Ipswich today, or this weekend, yeah. yeah. We've come to the film festival for the last uh, three years. This is our fourth time. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, we, we, love, we love coming to the festival, we love Shrewsbury, so it's just a, a great occasion. It's just such, such a rarity nowadays for there to be an LGBT film festival, so widely promoted, so popular, and you know, it's just a really good event, isn't it? I was really delighted when I moved here to hear about the Rainbow Film Festival. Uh, it came last year, I think this year is even better, having it concentrated over one weekend, and it really is a high point in the rather bleak LGBT calendar. I live in, uh, in Wellington in, in Telford and um, I think the Rainbow Festival is a fantastic opportunity for all communities um, to show uh, support and solidarity to the LGBT communities. Hi, my name is Sergei Yanin and uh, I come from Minsk, it's Belarus, the Eastern Europe. As I'm uh, staring in one, in one of the films called Is Block Love, uh, about the gay rights in Eastern Europe. And I'm really happy to see Great Britain for the first time in my life. I'm really enjoying this festival and I hope that you uh, next year will come too to this festival and enjoy it as much as I do right now. The film's very good, it's very interesting. It actually shows what it used to be like in the UK police used to discriminate against us and we had no rights. It just shows how far we've moved on. The film was excellent, I loved it um, and I, I just hope that it helps the awareness of the difficulties and the way of life of some people. Well, I guess people can't understand what it used to be like, frightened to walk out in the street, not being the police, you know. One of my friends said to me, it makes you wonder how fragile our, our own societies, our own communities, how easily could it step back? Um, makes you want to support people, stand up for your rights and to support anybody really. Uh, yeah, I thought it was really good. I don't normally watch films like this so it's a bit something different. It's really good. Um, a very moving experience to witness um, the events unfolding of the um, struggle um, and we've really felt we were seeing it firsthand by having the um, one of the, the key makers of the film sitting with us there and answering questions afterwards. So very stimulating and moving. The film raised a lot of questions, and I think it was quite multi-layered. It rem reminded me, I guess, of how far this country has come, and that we mustn't be complacent because. Um, there are always people who want to attract anybody for living a different lifestyle and although we saw very extreme examples of it there, there are still some parts of our community that take any sign of differentness as a threat and they fear it and they'll do anything to stop it and I found it quite moving and profound. I had a quick cry actually, <laughs> I thought it was very moving towards the end. Well, the film was great, it was really kind of retro but had some modern bits to it and just seemed really relevant and it's good to see something very different from the normal mainstream films being shown in Shrewsbury. It's a good way to see films that aren't on general release um, other than seeing them on DVD. I think it's nice to see them on the, on the big screen and, and I think it's, it's an important um, asset to the town to, to have 
that extra dimension, being able to see gay and lesbian films. At the Old Market Hall in Shrewsbury, we're really proud to be the hosts of the Rainbow Film Festival. Uh, we, we're so happy that it brings in new people, it brings back regular customers and we feel at the Old Market Hall we provide good coffee, comfortable sofas but even more than that we provide a comfortable and welcoming place for everyone. Oh, I love the venue. I've come here for quite a few films anyway, whether they're gay or straight, but no, it's a very friendly place. Well, the venue's fantastic. Lovely old building that's been renovated. So to come here is a, a bit of an event, and I always feel that it's a very comfortable and safe place to be. And it's fantastic, really. I think this is really about celebrating the diversity of Shropshire and also looking at some of the real issues that affect people today. Shropshire Council takes equalities very, very seriously and is really proud to be a good sponsor of this event and also to look at the economic benefits it could bring to Shrewsbury as a whole. Actually promoting this festival over a weekend um, gives us the opportunity in the future to do it on a much larger scale and to hopefully bring um, the Pink Pound right into the middle of Shrewsbury and into the future of Shropshire. What I think it brings to Shropshire and what it brings to Shrewsbury in particular is it brings things to the fore and it raises the awareness of people around uh, Shrewsbury and the wider county that there are sections of the community that are still disadvantaged, they're still persecuted for whatever uh, beliefs and uh, sexual orientations they have and actually we need to bring this into the 21st century. We're really, really happy to support and we will, whilst I'm branch sex, we'll always continue to do just that. Well, I support this festival um, very simply because a big part of our job, my job is in policing, is to make sure that we look after, police, listen to and sometimes enforce the law across all our communities and the LGBT community is an important part of the Westminster community and I, I wanted to come here and be part of that today. Yeah, I think it's really important. I think growing up as a young person in Shrewsbury there was um, a lack of support um, and uh, of the wider lesbian community so I think it's really important that small places like Shrewsbury are celebrating it. Fantastic idea. Um, I came last year, I just moved up here last year when the film festival was on. So I came for the first time then and thoroughly enjoyed it and I'm delighted that in Shrewsbury we've got something like this. I would say to anyone that doesn't, doesn't usually come to this sort of thing to give it a go and, uh, and coming, you're actually you're learning something new. It's not just about coming to the cinema, it's, it's learning uh, about other people's life stories and, and how this sort of thing actually helps other people. And as I say, it's, it's, a great, it's a great thing to come to and support in the, in the local town. We're lucky to have this sort of thing in Shrewsbury. A lot of people probably don't even know it exists. I think it's great, we only moved to the area from Luton last year and it's really great that there's a really good scene here. Um, I come from a large town in, in home counties of London um, and you come to what's a rural town in Shrewsbury, you know, in Shropshire and you find there's a really good active scene here, something we never had on the outskirts of London, so it's amazing. I think it's really great to have something that shows that this town is really open and inclusive, coming from a different town which was much larger multicultural there was nothing like this that happened so we were really pleased when we moved here and found that it's such a gay friendly place and to have things like this that are open that are well publicized which are attended by people who are part of the gay community and people who aren't is really quite special um, it's just a really good atmosphere and it's nice to see so many people willing to come and experience something a little bit different it's a great opportunity to get out see good films and meet great people we want the films to be something that make people think, that make people consider other people's lives and just perhaps teaches them something. We want our films to challenge. We want them to challenge people's assumptions, presumptions and perhaps the things that they do every day and just consider things from a different perspective. And we want our films to change people to change people's behaviours. And we're not just talking about other people, we're talking about ourselves.